wanted to give uh, more details while I am going to tell about the Bakhti literature. At the time, I wanted to talk about Kadiga because uh, only in that period only we are having lot of journals in Tamil. Lot of journals. There are nineties, especially during the Pallava period, all the journals were having the grammar from Tulga. So that is the beauty. After having 1,100 years or 900 years, we found lot of new genres. All those genres are having the resemblance of Tulgapiyam of past. So that's why when I'm going to talk about the Bhakti literature, at that time I will explain what is the, you know, what are the importance of Katika and what are the importance of Pallava regime. Right. I'm waiting for that particular time. Sure. Because I do not want to put the audience in confusion. Sure. And uh, with reference to Tolkapiam itself, what is the time frame actually? Because different people say different things. And how did, how did you actually find the Tolkapiam? Again, as manuscripts, was it discovered over a period of time? See, all the manuscripts we are having only from 8th century. Because right from the 8th century only we are able to find, identify the manuscripts in the palm leaf script and periodically that palm leaf script transformed into another palm leaf. In that manner only we are having all the literature and grammar book. Concerned to Tolga PM, there are three different two opinions are there. One is Vayaburi Pillai and some other scholars are saying Tolga PM period is AD 1st century. And some other scholars are saying Tolga PM period is BC 5th century. Couple of years back in Coimbatore, Kodishia uh, Center, the World Tamil Conference have taken place. In that conference, scholars are com finally coming to that conclusion that Tolga PM period is BC 7th century. Okay. Because how we are identifying the year, we are having the diction and the usages of words. What are the words that Tolga Pier is using in his work? Those words, how we are using right now? And what are the words we lost? How the words are changing by itself, either morphologically or phonologically? All these things are put it into research and finding out this word's age is so and so. So the, it is completely pure, purely based on the linguistics form of research. Sure. Uh, yeah. So through that linguistic form of research, it is possible for us. Because, for example, I will tell you one thing. Uh, I will tell a, a simple word. If you are going to say pakkam the word, in that word, if you are going to say pa, ik, ik, a, im. So you can able to identify two iks together in a word. In uh, vetkam, if you are going to say vetkam, after the it, the ik is there. Correct. They, it, ik, ka, im. Uh, vetkam. Uh, it is not at all possible to put a sound after the ik, it. After the it, you can put ik. But whereas it is not possible for anyone else to put a it sound after ik. Correct. If you are going to pronounce that word, you can automatically say that word is not belonging to Tamil. Okay. So these are all the methods we are having. There are four or five methods are there in linguistics how to identify one particular sound's antiquity. Sure. Through that only we are tracing and these are all the sound system. That's called, uh, that's, uh, uh, we are having lot of phonological details. The original phonology, the additional phonology, some of them are duplicating phonologies we are having. For example, in original Tamil, foi vitan, that's the correct pronunciation. Mm. If you are going to say in Madras Tamil, it is not foi vitan, putan. <laughs> right. Then foi vitan, how it become putan? The foi becoming pu, it used to take many hundred years to own out. Sure, sure, sure. It can't be just like that happening. Because last year we are saying foi vitan, today we are saying yes, putan, not possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to come across for many years. So automatically, we wanted to trace the previous sound of this putan. Yeah. Putan before that poitan. Yeah. Poitan yeah. before that poivitan. Uh. So 
these are all the sound system we are tracing back to the history uh, and with the help of that we can easily assess because it is not specifically say this sound is belonging to this particular period but uh, approximately we can say sure so this sound for example in the pronunciation of la la na. and the pronunciation of na 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 there are three na because nowadays everybody using in the same form there is no difference between la la the madras the people are nowadays the entire tamil nadu people are using the same la they don't have find the different las uh -huh. la la ra the ra it is not at all pronounced properly by any tamilians nowadays in tamil nadu see the tv media and that all everybody using ra instead of ra they are using la tamil they are pronouncing as tamil ay yeah <laughs> so, so because why the, the ra is the unique sound in tamil language right from the tolga pier period even before tolga pier that sound was there so what is the reason what is the re possible reason for everyone gradually losing that sound and put it in la sound sir i have a question to ask right. it might sound silly but i understand what you are saying so if we have to say tamil it would be r z h uh, because these are all the things we are using through english because the r z h may not give the exact sound of e put it as symbol that's all correct so in your personal opinion now this series itself has been titled as tamil text unfortunately so no other go because we yeah, can't tamil text we can't make, i'll tell you one thing we can't make every sound in one language is not at all possible mm. because every region is having their own unique sound system because for example we are producing the sound only from our diaphragm yep while we are articulating the sound from the diaphragm the sound the air stays in your chest in your throat and in your no nose and the head you are processing the letters you are processing the sound if you go to bengal all the sound system ended in your mouth itself mm but whereas if you are going to talk about sanskrit the sanskrit you have to develop the air from the diaphragm itself yeah so every region is having their own uh, method of processing the sound because the environment their culture their practice and uh, the climate everything making the sound system so even go and see in madurai district uh, madurai district people may not pronounce the ra in a right sense they yeah. used to pronounce the ra in la sound only because in madurai district people they may have anatomically their tongues are rough tongues okay so automatically if you are having the rough tongue you may not able to twist the tongue in proper way so that is not possible for you to produce the ra sound in proper sense so these are all the problem so you, the sounds are there even you can take in english how many of them are pronouncing english in right sense mm -hmm. because the english people are having a different pronunciation if you go and hear the french people's english pronunciation it is too horrible to hear mm -hmm. even yeah, for example even in tamil nadu how many of them are pronouncing the english in in its own flavor if you are going to talk about school Yeah, we go and hear in North Arcade school. Is school? <laughs> is school. Because in North Arcade they used to. Then even go to the Gujarati, they don't say estate. They uh, if you, instead of saying state, they have to pronounce it as estate. Oh, okay. which estate you are belonging? Automatically they will ask that. Go uh, to Karnataka, they will give stress to R, governor, government. Uh, so these are all the because these are all the uh, style of pronunciation according to their environment. you can't change it mm -hmm. it is not at all possible for kerala people they are giving stress to wo college uh, office uh, right uh, so because you can't find the uniform pronunciation in a language it is not possible also and it is not necessary also so in some ways it also helps in placing the word or placing the dialogue in different region because yeah, yeah. of the specific diction yeah yeah And, yeah. and in this case of research, it specifically helps in placing across time yeah, because yeah. of prediction. Yeah, yeah. For example, very simple. What they usually say: if you want to get a mental relief, 
it is called if you want to go to bethlehem you will get mental relief it is the detail in the past so the bethlehem becoming bedlam bedlam becoming mental hospital or mental asylum in modern world uh, modern okay. usage okay. so it is a separate terminology used in english called euphemism yep yep yeah so if you are going to adopt the euphemism automatically you can find how the word is owning out internally and externally sure 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 so that is the beauty in the grammar because if you are going to talk about the grammar it is a version sure it is sure. a version so we can't fix it in an hour or two it is not possible sure sure